Look what I found in the back. Let's see if I can close up on that. You see it? Because I see it. Go. Let's go! Welcome back there fam to a new episode of Fresh From The Fleet. Yes, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been lagging on the videos, I am so sorry, but I got a new one for you guys. So if you could, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, as well as turn on those notifications to see when I upload immediately, as well as that, if you guys haven't already, hit the link down below. I got a Depop shop up there, a lot of high-end, vintage, new, and we got a four-day free shipping going on, $40 and up on orders. Hit it up, take advantage, do not sleep. And why are we talking? Let's hit the thread. guys back at the thrift like always and look what i just came up on marcelo berlon i'm hoping i'm saying this right we do got the marcelo berlon snake zip up hoodie with the aglets let's check the uh inside tag just because i came up on the mickey mouse tee before and another tee and they both sold off really fast this is a size small but as you can see, it's got a little bit of heftier fit. Um, the design's insane. It's got this crazy red snake pattern all the way through on the left and right flanks of the body. No holes, no rips, no tears, stains, fading, barely anything. Zipper pull on here. Dead giveaway, man. All legit, super clean. They want uh, 10 bucks. So I'm probably gonna scoop this one up. I've been looking around for everything and I haven't really came up on too much in the t-shirts, but a lot of knickknacks, a lot of knickknack paddy whack, give a dog a bone kind of stuff going on here. So I'm gonna be doing my best to look for some more if I can find anything. But uh, that's the thrift game, let's go. Before I get into anything else, um, I have to go over these Levi's. You guys see the sticker already? This sticker being this font and being this like red color tells me it's vintage, okay? Not only that, look at the stitch marks around the box here as well as the tag. You hear that? Look what, look what it came with here. And yes, the Levi's tab did get stained by the blue. Check it out, shirts and jackets. 1995, a little Levi's booklet. That is insane that this was still in the pocket. Look at it. It's got all the classics. We feature a small sand jacket design to be a perfect complement to our famous jeans. I mean, look at the model on the front. Levi's red tab. I mean, that's pretty cool. I want 15 bucks for this. It's the little things that you find. They turn out to be the biggest. Look what I found in the back. Let's see if I can close up on that. See it? Because I see it. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah, I'll get it. Thank you. Did you see that? Legit. The crazy term of events that always happens. This always happens. I have so much to say about the Prada piece that I just came up on. Amazing, full-on Prada quality leather. Let's go check it out. As you saw, it is in amazing condition. Yes, I did pay $49.99. I did find a post and it did sell on Tracy. Smackers right on the spot, it has all the hardware. It is amazing Prada quality. And as you saw on the inside, it does have the Tessudo. And it's got the zippers. Everything is in amazing condition. This is what I was looking for. If you look into Prada stuff, you see this tag, good times. You see this plate looking like this. Check out the R, good times, Tessudo on point. Leather quality on point, double clasp. And oh my gosh, like I'm saying, this is why the Goodwills keep me coming back and that is amazing Prada quality for the low. $50 is a lot at the thrift, but when it's Prada, super tight butthole, never loose. Let's go. All right, you guys, finally finding something at the thrift, something substantial at least. Right, first off, we do got a nice crew neck here. 
embroidered Disneyland. And at first, you know, I saw the tag, saw that the cuts aren't here, they're down here. So I can tell if it's older, it is 90s, maybe 2000, a little worn. But check out the tag, Disneyland, there's a Made in USA right there. That's what I want to see. And the embroidery is sick. I love the, the multi-colors in here as well as the full-on Mickey Mouse embroidered. And the cuff sleeves, you know, that certain time, 90s, as well as this one. This is the first Disney wear tag I have found. So you already see Made in USA, it is a size medium. Here, you know, the care tag. Look at this mini banger right here, the full-on graphic right in the front. Mini Walt Disney World, this is awesome. So this one is going cheap. This one around $15. Do I pick them up? Yes, I'm going to pick them up, finally. You don't understand, I've been in here searching around. So check out what I found, sitting over there, $2.99, we got size medium, little polo for you guys, a little action over here, nice flag bearer, standing in all its glory, in the boots, in the denim, and you know that's double RL, gotta understand that, pretty good, just needs a little cleanup. should be good to go, and for three bucks, that's a nice little scoop, somebody checking some more though, you know, just got in here, let's do it, what I just came up on, in the little children's section, Kenzo Paris, kids. Got a 4A 104 Kenzo, third sweater I came up on, a crew neck. Look at the embroidery on this one. Got a little bit of stains right here, but I'll probably get that out. It's all legit too, that's awesome. That's what you wanna see, four bucks. And even the polar bear's not this crazy. Kenzo for the win. All right, this is what I like to see, and this is how I know that, you know, the hype or the, the name is not too widely known in the thrifters and areas. Check out what I just came up on right here. Let's see if you guys know what this is. Let's see what logo that is. Look at these literally vintage cassels for four bucks sitting in the random sunglass section. That is classic. This is vintage. This is coming from the time, right through the 80s. Look at that. Dude, there's like a mosquito around here. Look at that. That's a nice come up. Second Casals coming up on. We'll check a comp on it maybe. But that is amazing. Love how the front looks. That thing is insane. I love the colorway too. I was looking through here and I got poked by something. And look at this this giant. Look at it's bent too. This giant. I have no idea. Is it a push pin? A pin? Gosh. Look at this. I don't know why this is sitting in pretty much a bin where you're gonna have to dig through it and the thing is sitting like this. So I'm gonna leave it up here, that's insane. It's like a sharp object just sitting here. That's so much fun. All right, look at this. I just gotta show you guys this madness over here, okay? The madness of the thrifts. You guys see the starter, Dolphins, Miami Dolphins. Looking nice. I mean, if it was for personal, it'd be different, but look at this, 80 bucks. I can't do it. Still has a zipper pull. That's always the good part. Do my best, I'm gonna like walk around here and look into this. And uh, I mean, I'm doing it. I am hanging out and this guy knows what's up. He does, so. Oh, wow. Pink on this side, red on this side. What else is there? What do you guys think, huh? Got my Demon Slayer blade over here. Look at that. That's Bushido right there. I was checking out the towels and found this uh, tag on this. You guys see it? Banana Club, you know? I'm part of the Banana Club. What? I am in the white area. And then you get a little darker brown maybe area. But that's what I like about the thrift stores though. You come in here, you find anything. Check out this one, Micropolis. Okay, Chatsworth Company started in 1976, I believe. Made a bunch of disc drives. And the company disbanded or was sold in 1997 to became Streamlogic, which bankrupt. And then the whole company was pretty much liquidated in 2000. So this is a vintage Micropolis mouse pad. 
And you can see right here it has a sticker still. This is original fast pad 257260. That is awesome. A little computer history here. PC history. Chatsworth, California. Not too far. We are here. And look at that. Like I was saying, some uh, PC stuff over here. You got a HyperX gaming headset. They want uh, six bucks. Does have the plug, man. Kind of clean. Not too dirty. Not too bad. And look at the old uh, the monitors here. This is why I love about the thrifts. You never know what you're going to come up on next. So do you guys know what this is? Yes, I found this at the thrift. Let's see if it'll get a little focus in here. Maybe a little closer. There we go. 99 cents. It is a Hellboy ceramic coin bank. Yes, coin bank. And it is really crazy because it actually is ceramic. It's pretty cool, 99 cents. And, I mean, if it was just a little ways ago, this would be Grail City, right? Grail City. They want six bucks. A little discount going on right now, so I might just pick it up just to see if it sells. You can tell it's like a women's. There's a 3M strip that goes all the way through here. Inside tags also, so it's not completely early 90s, so it'd be like a little later into the 90s. It's so at least 99, 98, maybe 2000. Check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Again, the cop of the day, pretty much. 50 bucks. I did pick up the Prada Double Clasp Flap full-on leather, Tessuto interior, amazingness. Will this be for the personal? Uh, wait and find out. And again, that's why the thrifts keep me coming back because you just never know what you're gonna come up on. High-end, vintage, it is a plethora, a poo-poo platter if you must. What is the possibility at the thrifts? So if you guys haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, as well as turn those notifications. And with that, I'm just gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.